Good morning, Glad Watch. My name is CornPop16. Today we're watching an ESEA open match. This is Pipe It Up, Pick It On Hot Dads. Uh, this is going to be week three, game five total. This is game one on Gully Wash, game five total in the season. Um, and this should be a pretty excited, exciting uh, match. Both these teams are three and one at the moment. So both uh, near the top, at least, of ESCA. It was the closest match that uh, still had teams with decent records on it that I could find so hopefully we will see a close match here I believe in the chat they're just having some roster issues they need to get their scout paid up uh, pipe it up that is need to get their scout paid up I guess their old scout uh, can't play for some reason so they need to get a new scout paid up hopefully that shouldn't take too too long uh, while we wait here on gully wash not a hundred percent sure of the rosters just because teams don't always have them set up everywhere and because of uh, roster changes but I'll go over what I think I know um, so we'll starting with pipe it up as they do at least have it listed I believe based on what's in the server and based on uh, what they have on their ESCA page I believe Dex is gonna be playing scout eventually he will switch off a demo uh, and then obviously they're gonna get their other scout in Gus will be playing Romer. RSBP, I believe, if he's if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, RSBP, I think, will be playing Pocket. Sale on demo. And uh Idiot Medic. An idiot medic on medic. Um, but I can see in this we see uh Dex is on demo at the moment just in pregame, and Sale is on Scout, so they may end up switching. Uh, I'm not too sure. No, I don't think so. Or, yeah, I think they I think they will switch. Either way, uh, looking at Hot Dad's lineup here, I believe we're going to see Skyrolla and Change on Scout. Uh-huh. And then we're going to see Whoopi Goldberg and Terry Crews on Soldier. Then we're going to see Rupee on Demo, and Pascal on Medic. So hopefully I got those rosters correct. Really unsure of them this week, but we're getting our sixth. Awesome, so they are getting their sixth uh, in here, and hopefully we can start pretty quickly. Also some players not on the right team, but <clears throat> again, these two teams pretty interesting. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about last week, because last week was Viaduct. Both these teams played two matches on Viaduct. Uh, and I want to talk about a third team, actually, that knows these two teams pretty well. That's Pizzagon. Because Pizzagon ended up playing both of these teams uh, on Viaduct last week. They started off against Pipe, uh, Pipe It Up, where they took Pipe It Up's first game from them. That was uh, Pipe It Up's first loss of the season so far. They lost to Pizzagon and then the, just the next match they played uh, Pizzagon lost to Hot Dad so yeah. obviously that was you know Viaduct in one match you can't determine everything but that means it's not looking too good for Pipe It Up you know they lost to the same team that the other team clearly uh, could beat so not looking too great for them but of course we're not gonna call that immediately it's very positive possible they were just having a bad day maybe this new scout that pipe it up's getting in uh, can turn the tides for them I certainly hope so um, and hopefully they will get him in pretty soon so uh, yeah just thought I'd share that little tip about pizza gun I think that's pretty funny that they both managed to play the same team last week oh they managed to cast one game uh, last week which was a little disappointing just because a lot of things came up that week but here we are, hopefully casting two or three games this week on Gully Wash. We'll see what happens, though. I make no promises anymore, because uh, clearly I can never keep them. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, both teams they lost to were two and or are two and two in the season. So nothing there, but of course, again, uh, Pipe It Up did lose to the same team that Steamy. Did beat and steamy is the tag for hot dads which I can kind of get you know steamy hot sure that's kind of connection and then fat 
I have a fat cash, I guess. Fat dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign is going to be the tag for Pipe It Up. Uh, don't really understand the tag going with the name with that one, but uh, we're just going to go with it as long as they have a tag, I guess. doesn't necessarily have to be related to the name, although usually it is. Of course, we do see a couple of off classes here. Uh, we see the heavy. We see Eddie on heavy. Wait, 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 wait. Who's Eddie? What? <laughs> Oh, uh, God, I hate name changes sometimes. Eddie, I guess, will be playing... Scout? Wait, Scout the... No, 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 no. Eddie will be playing... I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm sure you'll switch to the right class uh, once the game actually starts. <laughs> but until then, we are just going to be waiting for that one extra player. And Gullywash, I'm someone who plays more Highlander than he plays Sixes, and Gullywash is probably the only 5CP map that's really liked in Highlander. Process is occasionally played, but uh, I'd say it's less liked than Gullywash, at least in Highlander. Uh, in Sixes, of course, you get a lot more variety with the 5CP. Gullywash, one of the many 5CP maps, uh, and then obviously the one King of the Hill map that was played last week. Is kind of the one exception to the kind of 5CP only rule that they have in Sixes. Which, you know, uh, 5CP is kind of the fastest game mode. It is, you know, it keeps the action going. Least amount of stalemates. It's good for a smaller team size. King of the Hill also can work quite well. And I believe, specifically, or more so in Europe at least, they play a little bit of Gravel Pit too. But I don't think that's been played in NA for a long time. So, uh, doubt we're going to see it in ESC anytime soon. <laughs> But yeah, so, really, looking at these teams, we see change red banana hat. I do, I mean, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the banana hat. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm fine with meme hats, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't enjoy a good meme. But realistically, like, I don't, I just, personally, I don't like the banana hat all that good. Especially painted, like, you've never seen a red banana, that's not, that's not a thing. So, I mean, his hat, you know, probably pretty expensive compared to most other hats we can see here. Um, but definitely not, in my opinion. Oh, we have another banana. Okay, this one's black, though. So, hmm. Black banana. I think I like the red banana a little more than the black banana. And a purple banana. Hmm. Well, that kind of begs the question, do you like, do you go for the purple banana? Or the red banana? And a white banana. This is just the banana team. Are they almost a steamy banana? Steamy and a pink banana. I think everybody on this team has a banana. Is that right? Except for Terry Crews currently isn't wearing a banana, but everybody else on that team is wearing different colored bananas. You know, I like that. It's a, it's kind of like a team uniform, and I really appreciate that. And also, you know, Terry Crews not playing his uh, probable class. He's going to be playing full-time in the match, or at least most of the time in the match. So uh, hopefully he will actually have a banana hat on his real one on his uh, actual class I believe I said he's gonna be playing soldier I have no idea uh, I don't even think I went down the roster just because uh, I'm really not too sure at all on it but uh, he was playing soldier in the pregame so that's kind of what I'm assuming but I guess we'll find out he is wearing if I'm cycling through these hats the hazmat's head case which I believe just recently uh, became available to the sniper it was originally a pyro-only cosmetic, um, but it was eventually, it was given to the sniper, I think just as a joke by the developer. He like tried to slip it in and see uh, if Valve would not notice it, but they they ended up uh, allowing it in, so that's pretty funny. I saw that story on the uh, subreddit. We're stalemating, but this is still pregame, of course, and I believe we did have Boy Princess going to be on Soldier for the first uh, around, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess they're still changing their classes and stuff. But we are going live soon, so that's a good sign. And we can see the rosters on our screen right now. Uh, I guess I'll watch Sail on his rollout here. As soon as the match goes live, there we go. We're going to be watching Sail as he rolls out here. He's going to be sticking up, going down uh, with his team. Looks like he's heading to Big Door. To the left, he screams, but uh, he does not go to the left. 
neither demo really taking too too much demo damage from the other demo men as uh, the two soldiers are actually going to be going right across that point but they're going to counter bob immediately yeah uh boy princess going to be the first casualty to go down and another one going down for red so many frags there's just two scouts alive that was just absolutely uh a terrible mid fight for them it's only the scouts alive they're going to be trying to back up to last of course they're not going to be able to hold second and they're going to be switching uh, to engineer and probably yep heavy there it goes to do what they can to defend this last, but that was a really bad start off to this game. And already the gun being spammed out from main. Can't imagine that's going to survive for too long. No, it's going to be going down. So he's probably going to be switching off of Engineer. Yeah, he goes back to Scout. Uh, so we do see uh, RSBP, I believe that is, in here. And the Uber does get popped onto Terry Cruz. They're going to be running in here. Again, the Heavy going to be taking a lot of focus there, but they're just backing up into spawn, and they're really not uh, putting him away at this point. Finally, people do run onto the point for the red team, and... There is just one soldier there. He was very lit, though. He did take a lot of damage, but there's still a lot of people who haven't fully committed to that point, and everybody goes down. That's going to be one nothing right off the bat for Hot Dads. Mm, so, it's just really annihilation at the mid-fight, and then I uh, just rolled to last. Really not too much they could do after that mid. Hopefully they can have a little bit better of a mid here, not get rolled completely. Um, so we'll see what happens here on the second mid-fight. Again, demos going different routes. Uh, Rupee getting a lot of spam on him this time, so that could be a little bit better for the other team. Again, soldiers up in the air. Whoopee kind of got in there. Uh, you got a lot of damage down. Demo actually going to go down Terry Crews, but Terry Crews is going to die for that, so that was a trade. And uh, we saw a couple more frags go down. There is the soldier now onto this medic. He's trying to get him, but no, he is going to crater. And Dex going to claim that kill, and that's going to be a mid-fight. Uh, in the opposite team's favor. So they're going to be probably rolling out to losses. Only the medic and the demo got out here. They do have a trap on this shutter, so I'm assuming they're just kind of chilling here. Hopefully uh, they can get one frag with it. They're just kind of waiting in here. They are going to be able to defend with full uber. They get their medic out. Well, hopefully Terry Cruz doesn't bleed here. Yeah, no, good. Uh, Scout runs right through the sticky trap, and he doesn't die to it. I don't believe the uh, demo debt in time, so they are going to be pushing this last now as the soldier is kind of in river here. Again, Whoopi going to be jumping onto this balcony. We see Boy Princess going river, uh, going water. They did catch that, though. And there's a sniper down here. Skyrolla going to go down. Not quite sure what he was doing under there, but that is going to be one down. Boy Princess also going to go down, though. So a couple frags. Also, Edgy going down there. I think he just got juggled in. So that's one frag. I can 4v5 at the moment. I don't think Red Team wants to push with this at the moment. So they're just going to be kind of waiting. We see... Charge just getting in deep here. He might be going for a big flank play, actually. He does get spotted out, though, by the enemy scout. He's clearing sticky traps, and uh, Demo is going to death there. Scout is still on the lower. Now, it looks like blue team's actually kind of pushing out based on that, although change does go down there, so that's not going to be too, too great for them. They don't really want to push one down, uh, and hopefully they don't bleed too, too many here, as the pop actually did come out from the red team. Not sure if that was a force. I don't believe it was. I think they're just kind of going with it. That was a really early pop, though. I'm not sure why they did that. Pascal nowhere near popping i don't think you know nobody on the enemy team even saw him so full uber they're gonna be probably pushing out here i would imagine we do have boy princess on sniper at the moment but no they're just all pushing through upper he's not gonna get any chance with that we do have a soldier down in that uh, bottom area but he's not gonna do anything so they are coming into the second point i believe they might pop here yep they do pop does come out onto terry cruz and he's gonna be jungling the soldier nice get some that's going to be sailed. The demo man's already going down. Beautiful shot by Terry Cruz as now they are going to cap up that second point. And looks like we're going to watch as uh, Fat Cash try to hold the second, or hold this midpoint. Already scout though, Skyrolla kind of in here. And yeah, they look like they just want to push us all the way in. Whoopi Goldberg going to die to that though as uh, we see Steamy actually change in below. He's on this medic here. He's gotten him so lit. That medic is so low, but he couldn't clean that up. Dex going to protect his medic as he picks up that frag. Oh man, that was so low health from an idiot medic. And now uh, we see Steamy Hot Dads. They're just rolling through. They're just taking it point by point, going pretty slowly here. Um, but they are at middle now. Boy Princess walks in right at the bad time to get hit by a spam rocket. Now we're going to see probably a little bit of a stalemate. We see all classes up, full uber on both medics. As uh, the blue team just get their uber there. So, oh, actually a pop did come out here from the red team. And counter pop is going to come out from hot dads. And they're going to be pushing into this choke now. And uh, the medic probably not long for this world. He is going to go down there as a soldier up top. Doing a lot of work there. That's uh, RDB. He's spamming down. He's not going to get anything though as uh, Dex and Idiot Medic of course have gone down so far. Soldier up here though. 
I don't think he's been seen. Now he does get the kill on Eddie. And uh, that's going to be them now pushing last. And we see Sale already so in deep. He is going to die for that, though, as Skyrolla finds him and takes him out before he can do anything uh, defensive here. And now they're just already on last. Good job by the scout and soldier. Getting back here. From defending last all the way to capping it. Uh, pretty good job from Hot Dads. And that's going to put two down for uh, Pipe It Up here. So we're going to see what they can do on this third mid fight. They did a really good job on the second mid fight. Hopefully they can repeat that. As we're going to see the demo spamming stickies in here again. Whoopi Goldberg looks like she's going under. But uh, he's going to meet a little bit of competition there. No frags going down just yet. But again, Whoopi Goldberg is under. He's going to be jumping up to his own team side. He's on the point. Edgy went drop down and he did die for that. And a couple more frags going to go down. RSBP and Terry Cruz, both victims of this mid fight. Boy Princess very low. He's going to get out. As, uh, yeah, that one extra frag and a lot more damage is going to cause uh, Fat Cash to get out there. That is pipe it up with their tag. And I think they kind of want to hold second, but uh, we can see Steamy really doesn't want them to. Deck going to die there, and this medic might be pot out. Yeah, he is going to go down there. Demo probably not going to last long either. No, he's going to go down to the Uber. Actually, to get popped here, I guess they got the medic, so that's definitely a decent pop. As they're going to be running into lobby here, hopefully they can get something. It's RSBP and just one other Eddie up here on this last point. And Demo just going to run to this last point. Everybody going to die as they try to get him. And the respawns come in, but it's just too late. Already 3 nothing uh, after very little time on the map. Not sure how much time has actually passed on this map. But uh, wait, is it uh, half time? Is that where we're at right now? I think it's half time. Yeah, yeah, okay, half time after three, right, right, right. So, I mean, ugh, not going well so far for uh, Pipe It Up. I mean, three down. They did a really good job that second round. They almost had it, but they messed up the last push, and then they just got all the way rolled back to their last and uh, ended up losing that. So, I mean, the other two rounds they lost have been very fast. Like, Hot Dads have done a really good job of just running through this team and just going straight to last from the very initial mid fight getting so many frags that you know the mid fight just goes so poorly for pipe it up that they can't do anything uh, when it comes to defending last like there's no chance when you're four down and the other team has full uber like you're not you're not ever going to defend that last so they need to just do better on these mid fights they need to bleed less they need to uh, do more damage and hopefully they can fix whatever they're doing wrong here because uh, I really would like to not see a 5-0 roll here in the third week. It's third week? Yes, yeah, third week of uh, ESEA. So, uh, you know what? Something I have to check, actually. It's if they're all still wearing banana hats. For, okay, five banana hats. I counted. Did I count correct? No, I don't think so. Okay, red, red players. One, two, three, four... Five, six. I think it's pretty clear uh, why Hot Dads are winning this match. And uh, it's the banana hats, you know? You have six unique and different banana hats coming at you. You know, just the speed of a thousand bananas. Y you're never going to defend against that. So I think pretty clear TF2 has become pretty pay to win at this point. The bananas give pretty substantial advantage. And uh, I really wait for this game's future. As we watch as the second half goes live here. See RSBP jumping out. We'll go to mid and see which team manages to get here first. Probably going to be one of the demos. But I imagine Rupee going to be going into choke. Whereas uh, actually both demos are. Again, neither demo is going to be spamming each other then. Scout instantly on this mid fight again. Nobody down. Oh, let's just say that though. Charge does go down. He's going to be the first casualty of the mid fight. But two more frags go in the favor of the other team. Now, oh, but good coordination here coming in from Steamy. It's just the medic and the demo alive, and they're very disconnected. This is the arrow there as he is going to be backing up into lobby. And Scout's on them now. Scout got one. He's going for the medic now. Medic trying to get those uber sauce. Idiot medic trying to defend himself here. But no, Sky Roller going to get both those picks, and he's going to be running out of there. Happy as can be. Do you see Boy here on uh, Sniper, Boy Princess? Hopefully he can get something here because they really need it if they want to defend this last. I believe it's first to five. Uh, oh, he's in a really good position. He saw the medic there just for a second. He's really aggressive. I'm not sure they know they have a sniper. Well, the Terry Crews is, yeah, he's on him now. And, uh, yeah, 
Boy, Princess not gonna last long there. Oh, he did get Skyrolla, though! Okay. So that was pretty good. Before he died, he managed to pick up that one frag. I was decent. Um, probably wanted to get a little bit more than just a scout, though. As they're gonna be now defending last. Uber does come out onto Terry Cruz again. They're just gonna be trying to get these fragging classes down. They're focusing the heavy. Heavy has a lot of health here. It is just Whoopi Goldberg on this point, and he is gonna just cap that before he dies. Making it 4 nothing in favor of Hot Dads. And this is match point here as we roll out to our fifth and possibly final mid fight. Let's see how it goes down. Looking at the demos, looks like one's going choke, one's going big door. So Rupee again going to be the one going choke. That's uh, again early presence from Blue here. Uh, they're just kind of getting this upper ground early and we already see the medic being spammed out. That's Pascal. He can't really get anything. The sniper actually being run to mid by change. And uh, that mid absolutely not going. He gets a second one and that was a pick on the med. That's going to be a full wipe. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it for uh, Fat Cash at the moment. Pipe it up. They're running their sniper into last. They just want to spawn camp as much as they can. Demo sticking up these doors. He's going to be trying to keep them in, but left-hand side. Sniper is coming out here, as well as the heavy off-glass, so no scouts defending last. They are at a full uber disadvantage. They're just going to build what they can. Uh, we see a couple of people under. That's Whoopi and a Scout, Skyrola. I don't think they know Whoopi's there. He doesn't really want to make himself known. Oh, yes, he does. He's jumping in on the medic and on the heavy. He's going to be focused on the heavy. He's not going to win that, though. As uh, he does go down, of course you can't really, you, usually soldier bomb in a heavy with full buff, not going to work out. But Boy Princess again with this aggressive sniper spot, he's going to be trying to do some miracle plays for his team, but he's just going to end up leading for that as Skyrolla picks up a good frag there. Uh, Skyrolla probably not going to die to the soldier, I want to say. No, uh, Eddie is going to get up that frag, so I mean that is one trade for one trade, you know, that's something. And it looks like they are going to be able to defend this with Uber Spy coming in from Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg here. He's going to be decloaking, I think, for the heavy. That's probably the easiest pick, the most guaranteed pick. He did get the heavy, and uh, he's pistoling on the... Er, yeah, he's trying to get the sniper now. Looks like he escaped as well, so he didn't die for that pick. Uh, no, sorry, he did just go down as the Uber is going to be popped out here now. Both Ubers going to get exchanged. Terry Crews on the point, but he's going to be jumping out to kill that demo man. Now it's just the Uber players, three up, standing on the point. It's a 3v3 at this point in time, but the heavy's running in, making sure that it's not a 3v3 for long. Scout going to go down. Everybody going to go down. It's just one scout. It's just Dex, but he needs to get on that point, and he's not going to be able to do so. That's going to be 5-0 oh, in a very fast match from Hot Dads. And, yeah, GG's are out, so people already leaving the server. You can tell that uh, Pipe It Up are not happy about that match. Uh, they really shouldn't be. That was pretty uh, pretty bad showing on their part. I mean, I guess they just weren't ready. They lost. I mean, they won one of the mid-fights, but the mid-fights they lost, they just lost really horribly, and they almost had one round, but uh, they messed something up there, and that did cause them to lose 5 nothing. So uh, before I get kicked from the server, thank you very much for watching. My name's been CornPop16, and uh, I'll see you next time.